Welcome. This video is about California paid sick and safe days, brought to you by the California Work and Family Coalition. Our coalition is a statewide alliance of organizations united in the belief that all people should have the time and resources to care for themselves and each other. My name is Jasmine, and I'm part of the coalition staff here to inform you about Know Your Rights. So paid sick days versus paid family leave and disability leave. Paid sick days can be used for short-term leave needs like the flu or medical appointments. Paid family leave and disability leave are used for longer-term leave needs like cancer treatment, recovering from surgery, giving birth, caring for a seriously ill family member, or bonding with a new baby. We do have other short videos on paid family leave and disability insurance leave, but this video is specifically about paid sick and safe days. What are paid sick and safe days? Paid sick and safe days can be used for your own illness or to care for a family member, including the diagnosis, care, and treatment of an existing health condition or preventative care like annual checkups. They can also be used to seek care or services related to domestic violence, sexual assault, or stalking. A frequently asked question is, which family members can California workers use paid sick and safe days to care for? California workers can use their paid sick days to care for a parent, child, spouse, registered domestic partner, grandparent, grandchild, sibling, or designated person. A designated person is someone who is part of the worker's chosen or extended family. For example, that can be an uncle, a cousin, or a best friend. Eligibility requirements for paid sick and safe days. All California workers working 30 or more days within a year must be given up to a minimum of 40 hours or five days of paid sick leave per year. It's the law. To take paid sick days, you must have been employed for at least 90 days and worked in California for 30 days. And you must have accrued the amount of time for leave, which is one hour of paid leave for every 30 days work. And you can decide how much paid sick time to use at once. For example, a half day at work, but your employer can require you to use at least two hours at a time. Employer responsibilities. Your employer must pay you 100% of your regular rate of pay. Employers cannot deny requests for paid sick days. An employer does not have to know why you are using your paid sick days. Your employer cannot require you to find a coworker to cover your absence as a condition of using leave. Notifying your employer. You should notify your employer as soon as you can when you know that you need to use your paid sick days. With an unanticipated illness or medical emergency, it is okay to notify your employer as soon as it is practical. Your employer cannot require documentation, such as a doctor's note, as a condition of using the leave. If you need more than five days to recover from your own health condition or need to care for a loved one, please watch our other short videos on California state disability insurance for your own serious health condition and California paid family leave for caregiving. To learn more about paid family leave, your rights and how to access them, go to paidfamilyleave.org. For more resources about your paid leave rights, the coalition has this resource hub filled with information to help California workers understand and navigate their paid leave rights. This can be found in the resources section of the website. For even more resources to understand paid leave, especially for parents, caregivers, or for your own serious health condition. And on the EDD, or the Employment Development Department, everything is hyperlinked here and throughout this whole presentation as well. Other hyperlinked resources will be available to you with these slides, and you can just click on the links and it'll directly take you to those resources. If you have any questions or need support, you can find the coalition's contact information on our website at workfamilyca.org. You can also follow us on social media, either on Facebook, Instagram, or X using the tag at workfamilyca. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on Know Your Rights.